Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to solve some questions on Joule's law of heating. So before we start, let's find out the different formulas for Joule's law of heating. So as we know, this is Joule's law. H is equal to I square R T. And using Ohm's law, we will get the different forms of Joule's law of heating. So now I'll use the Ohm's law and I'll use I is equal to V by R in this formula. So if you put uh, I is equal to V by R, you will get V square by R square RT. So if you uh, cancel this R and R square, you will get V square R by T. So this is the first form of Joule's law of heating. So again, I am taking the formula and now in this time I am taking I'm changing R before I have changed I now I'll change R so I'll write R is equal to V by I so I'm changing R to V by I out here you can see so if you cancel this I and the square of I then you'll get V I T so H is equal to V I T so these are the three different forms of Joule's law of heating Okay, these are the units of different physical quantity we will be using while solving the joules law. For energy, we will use joules. For potential difference, we will use volt. For current, we will use ampere. For time, it's second. And for resistance, ohm. So these are the SI unit which we will be using while solving the question. So now let's see the questions. So this is the first question. 50 kilojoule of heat is produced by a resistor of 15 ohm resistance. In 5 minutes, find the potential difference across the resistor. So, the problem with this question is the unit of energy and time is not given in SI unit. So, this need to be converted. So, now let's see. So, energy H is given that is 50 kilojoule. So, I'll convert kilo into number that is 1000. So, I'll get 50,000 joule. Energy is 50,000 joule. Resistance is 15 ohm and time is 5 minute and minute is not the SI unit so I'll convert this into second so 5 into 60 seconds and that is 300 seconds and potential I have to find so I have three forms of Joule's law so I have to use one if you see out there in the question current is not given so I will not use the formula with current so this two I cannot use this so I'll use the third one so now let's solve so I'll flip the equation because I need V so I need I'll take the V that side so flipping equation then I'll cross multiply R with H and T will go to the denominator so V square is equal to H R by T so now I'll put the values now H is 50,000 R is 15 ohms and time is 300 seconds so you can cancel these zeros and 3 into 5 is 15 so I'll multiply I'll get 2500 so V square is 2500 now but I need V not V square so I'll just take the square and I'll make the root over the side so now I'll factorize this 5 into 5 into 5 into 2 into 2 is 2500 so for one pair of number I'll take one number out so this out of this 2 5 1 5 will go out out of this 2 5 1 5 and out of this 2 2's 1 2 will go out so 5 into 5 into 2 into root over 1 so root over 1 is 1 so I'll multiply the answer is 250 volt this is the second question Compute the heat generated while transferring 96,000 coulombs of charge in one hour through a potential difference of 50 volt. Find the resistance of the conductor also. So out here the given is charge is given 96,000 coulomb. Time is given one hour but it is not SI unit so I will convert this into 60 into 60 seconds so that is 3600 seconds. So potential is given 50 volt, heat is not given resistance is not given so first i'll find the current from charge and time so we know current is charged by time if you put the values two zeros will get cancelled nine six zero by thirty six if you divide this simplify this you'll get 80 by 3 ampere 
so now I, again I have the three forms of Joule's law of heating so out here I have current but I don't have resistance so I should not use the formula having resistance so if you see first and third so they are having resistance so I'll not use th this so I'll use second so H is equal to VIT so if you put the value now potential is 50 current thus we have found 80 by 3 and time is 3600 so now if you multiply 15 to 80 you will get 4000 and you can cancel 3 and 3600 you will get 1200 now if you multiply this you will get 4812345 so now if you shift the decimal point from here to 1 2 3 4 5 sixth place so you'll get 10 to the power 6 so this is 4.8 into 10 to the power 6 joule so you can leave the answer out here also that will be considered as correct answer so now i have to find the resistance as well so in order to find the resistance i can use ohm's law v is equal to ir so from there r is equal to v by i so put the values so this 3 will go up and 50 into 3 by 80 so this is 150 by 80 if you cancel 0 so this is 15 by 8 so this is 1.87 ohm is the answer this is the third question on joule's law of heating so in this question two wires of same material same length and same diameter is given so they are first connected in series and then in parallel so you have to find the heat produced in both the cases and you have to find the ratio so before we start so one thing is given is that the two resistors are made out of same material say have they have same length and same diameter that means r1 and r2 are equal so out here numbers are not given so we'll assume all everything so let r1 and r2 be r and potential be v and time is t so now for series combination we know uh, the formula is r1 plus r2 so if you put r1 plus r2 the value so you will get r plus r is equal to 2r because r1 and r2 are equal and that is equal to r so now if you find r series that will be 2r so now if you find find the heat produced in series combination that's why i have written s rs hs so i am denoting is heat produced in series combination so now i'll put the values then v square t and for rs i'm putting 2r so this is heat produced in series combination so now i'll do the same for parallel combination as we all know for parallel 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 so i'll put the value of r1 and r2 that is r so if you put r and r you'll get 2 by r so 1 by rp is 2 by r so i'll res reciprocate the equation to get the value of rp so rp is r by 2 now i'll put the value of rp to find the heat so for parallel combination heat produces v square by rp into t so i'll put the value of rp that is r by 2 so this 2 will go up and it will become 2v square by r into t so this is heat produced in parallel combination now i have to find the ratio so ratio is hs by hp so now if you put the value of hs and hp so i'll reciprocate this and multiply the side so now you can see you can cancel v square v square t and t r and r so you are left with 2 into 2 that is 1 by 4 so the ratio is 1 by 4 now similarly you can try this questions 